Yeah, I'm not gonna stop like for the transmissions because that's just like never ending. One meters give zip rest. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. The fuck? Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We have to down now for Okay. Command this HQ, this is trouble. Fire Team 2. Main power systems down at sub level. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. Yeah, welcome to the hood. So the biggest problem with this game is you cannot have the flashlight and weapon out at the first at the same time. You can mod it so it's like that. I don't think they kind of bounce it because when you use the mod, like it's like a shotgun mod. Actually, it's any mod, I think. Okay, can we go down through here? Uh, do you see the armor scratch down there? That's yeah, what I saw you last time. Fuck them. They're not worth it. I oh, know. I'm going for him. I got him with a flashlight. Oh. Stop, because you're, you're gonna you you're gonna kill yourself to, to get that. That is the dream. <laughs> you see all the voice on the radio? Those, those people trying to get armor scraps. Get out of here. Gently, how do you get out of here? I, I don't know. As I said, that's why I didn't bother going for them. Like, I thought maybe you could go under this, but either that or you have oh, to. Well then. Oh, okay, you did it. Well, I'm not going for them anyways. <laughs> it's not. It's not well, the worth shotgun it. Shotgun shells down there. You need those. Let's yeah, extend the emergency bridge. Hey, you want to? Are you ready for spook? All units, this is Command HQ. Report directly to Marine headquarters and await further orders. Stop trying to knock me into it. Well, I can't go here. No, because we gotta extend the bridge. Nerd. But usually you can go here. The it's like a trigger for a spook. Yeah, I already did it. I already got spook. Oh god, I can't see anything. I'm playing Sniper Elite or something. I'm sure they don't mention that. <laughs> we seem to be having fun there. <laughs> it keeps doing the trigger! Stop! This game is really loud. All the fucking time. It's still fucking loud. Like, okay, look, there's only like one setting and it's like, like... Fucking one, one sound bolt slider. Because we can't hear canned. Yeah. Was key? Uh, all I hear is the lost soul constantly. Oh, no, I, I I don't hear him anymore. I saw him one time and that's it. Like, like I stand over here and I, just, I hear his trigger. I keep hearing it. Okay, this is not exactly a bug free mod. <laughs> it's a little spook. I want, I want to look at Frank's PDA, okay? Frank West? Okay, you're, you're apparently triggering stuff without me here. Thank you. False habit, sorry. Now the game's too quiet, what the fuck? I love this game! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I dare you jump in there. How the fuck that? I got shotgun. Covering fire. Now it's too loud again. This one's too cold. This one's too hot. This one's just right. I'm, I'm, I'm just putting everything into the shared health pool for us. <laughs> yeah. How's it look when you climb the ladder? I want to see this. Go. Did we just loot everything? Oh good, my stamina's out. <laughs> You're not even walking up the ladder. You're just oh, levitating. Is this like the spookiest thing, by the way? That thing down there? What what thing? That thing. Spookerino. Yeah, this, this is no safety. That will kill you. Uh oh. Just gonna say.
I told okay, I want loot. The loot dream is real. I... Yeah. Only nine health in the fucking health pool. Is there damage to dirty casual? Oh, I don't want to look at my PDA. Oh, there's some shells in there. I have to wait for them to respawn, thanks. Spook, 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 spook. Oh god, it's the... Yeah. Remember how there used to be like 40 of them? Well, you'll never receive like more than one. Welcome <laughs> to America! <laughs> he came to the wrong Mars base. Oh, FYI, this is on, um, we're playing on hard difficulty. Nightmare, we just said nope, because we're, we constantly would have 25 health. Because the way Nightmare yeah. works is you get uh, a certain thing I'm not going to spoil later, but your health is constantly draining. Hey Mike, want to go for a secret? What'd you do? Turn this off. Oh. Oh, really? You can do that? Yeah, there's a thing you can do. Yeah, more health for the, the shared health pool. Call me this health pool. <laughs> Alright. It could By be way, capitalism. If, I, if you're curious about what I did, it's this one here. Which one? This, 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 this thing I'm hitting. Oh, you're, you're, you're doing valve, okay. You can interact with it, turn off the fire. I didn't know that. Get out of my way. Well, now you know. Oh, give me, give me. Wait, my armor's slowly going down. Yeah, because we no. have so much of it. Oh, uh, like, emergency <laughs> Sorry, shit! <laughs> what? I just imagine we have, like, armor shots, like, taped onto our armor just as if it's falling <laughs> off. <laughs> you know, I have to say, the game has somewhat lost its charm from the old Doom days. Doom 4 is coming out there soon. Are you looking forward to that, Cad? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Maybe it's like Doom 3, I'll like it. If it's like Doom 1, I'll like it. I mean, just but what if it's like its own it game? Can we do a thing in here? I uh, don't Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a thing in here. <laughs> God, my view is just going all over the place. What the hell are you doing? I'm just double checking something. Yeah, there's nothing in here. That's for sure, I'm, man. I'm like, a zombie. Flashlight zombie. Uh, you move before it's like. Where did my armor go? Oh. Hello, sir. I can't see. <laughs> uh, I've got another. I keep auto switching weapons. It's really fucking annoying. Can I turn that off? Units. Yeah, you can save that. Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailing force. They're mean as things. If you don't have a clear path back to HQ, stock up on ammo, establish a stronghold, and keep them attacked. Spook. It's not really okay, spooky, may not, just... Um, what? Did you just kill yourself? I may or may not be at 20 health. Why? How'd you get to 20 health? I don't know. Just shoot me in the back. Maybe. All right, shoot me again. Yeah, that removes my armor. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I thought there was no friendly fire. Okay, sh shoot me again one more time. I do with the pistol. Okay, so it removes your armor but not your health. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, I dropped a bunch of stuff. So there is a punch for friendly fire. This is Bravo team. We've got one man okay. down and several wounded. We are incoming and need medical on stage in stack. You're all kinds of bloody. This is fire team two. The monorail track is destroyed. I'm able to secure safe transportation back to base. Over. Okay, Roger, so the question is. Team two. Fall back to the nearest station and set up a CP there. Out. Yeah. Do you care about plasma ammo? I do. I guess we gotta go for it then. Yeah, I already got it Thanks, all. you stole all the health, asshole. <laughs> it went to a shared health pool, it's okay. It's alright, Kent. 
Oh, you have to open the door. Uh oh, there's an imp there or something. Ah, no, wait, hang on. There's more things you can do here, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you can. No, you can. What? What'd you do? Unlock that. You're fucking kidding. They didn't know about this? No! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, well, I'm glad I'm playing this with you. Because I didn't fucking know any of this. How much are you unlocking here? I think I unlocked the machine gun. Yeah, I did. Uh, I think I can do something else here, but I'm not sure. You see there's more options there? Crane control? Yeah, I see a bunch of things here. Yeah, crane control. Not authorized. Okay, those two are unlocked. Not authorized. Is that all we can do then? Yeah, that's all we can do. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with it. So, do you know about the plasma ammo in this level? No. How good are you at parkour? Amazing. Let's do it. Is it over there? <laughs> it's over there. How, where are we supposed to parkour to? I'll show you. See that lot? See this thin wire? <laughs> Alright. I got this. I believe in you. The dream is real. <laughs> I never knew about this. Alright, what do you do? You just jump up here? Yeah, have fun getting back, by the way. Oh, I, I'll, I won't have trouble. Oh, there's, you know there's a health thing here, by the way. Yeah, I know. You don't want to come over here? Put it in the health pool? There you go. All right. Uh, there's a there's a ladder here. You guys put the crane, and you can't really do much with the crane. That's that's actually really fucking cool. I didn't know about this. Uh, do you know like all the secrets in this game or what? I know like all the early ones because I played the shit out of the early part of the game. That's like I I just love to play this and explore. All right. So, yeah, I'm getting back. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Was fuck? it worth the plasma ammo? It totally was. Where the fuck am I even now? Uh, I'm I like, don't know. I'm like in an earlier part of the game. Oh, or, nice. Or somewhere. I'm making my way back. <laughs> oh goddamn. That yeah, I think it, 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 you can get over there earlier in the game, but like, I think the door's locked because you unlock it for that thing I just did. Yeah. For the magic keyboard, but then like. You can fiddle with the crane over there, and I think you can use it to get back, but you can't. I, it's all fucked up, dude. I got my heavy machine gun. Don't, don't worry, it was all worth it because of the shared health pool. Oh god. Okay, so some guy spawned behind you. <laughs> I got to see him spawn. This is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Oh, I love this. Uh, okay, so this is the closest thing to like a sniper weapon in this game because there are no sniper weapons in Doom. I love the machine gun. I love the reload animation for it, actually. It's so satisfying. It's so I actually satisfying. like the popcorn-ass sound effect it has. That, that, yeah, it sounds like a toy gun. I like it. I like it, too. Pick up a wheel gun. Nerd. Uh, I, you know, I have this thing on an SSD and it still loads forever. Whatever. Might be because it's just trying to load me as well. All remaining marine units. This is Sergeant Kelly. I'm unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. Welcome. Holy shit, it saved our health. Yeah, I, I, I'm... Yeah, which is why we have to kind of play this all in one go then. Because then it won't be consistent then. Oh well. Gonna kill the guy. <laughs> I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it was like a shock wave. It, it passed Not for all the, the kids out there. Base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help, please. Which voice actor is this? Um. I don't think you'll know, but kids. Who's voice acting this guy? You should know. I don't know. Do you want to know who it is, Mike? Sure. 
It's fucking Steve Bloom. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. Okay. You can't get me down. Is that really him? Staying here. Doesn't sound like him at all. That's Steve Bloom. The FYI, you can you can zoom in with the with the flashlight. You can zoom in with everything. Can I zoom in with the grenade? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go. You know, I, I could probably replace this entire LP with a black screen and no one would tell the difference. It's like, oh, they've just been some dark part of the game. Does he think with a flashlight when you have armor? I, no, I'm not gonna find out. Fun down there, nerd. There's always zombies here. Who gives oh, a fuck? behind you! These armor scraps. Mm, mm. Oh, we got Marcus St Staten. I'm gonna get to that. Now there, holy shit, there's a lot of dialogue I haven't fucking listened to. Oh, have fun with that. This is the audio log Starting. of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18th, 2145. The current operational status of the game is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with the movement. The constant and increasing load in the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain them for a much longer. I request clearance to wrap up the dialogue. Okay, I don't know what's going on. This is Dr. Kelly. But I'm doing all I can down here. Look your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you. They're making things a whole lot worse. Okay, yeah, maybe we should have like a proper sit, like, better soon. like stop and All dialogue section. Break loose. Maybe we should. Because, like, this is ridiculous how it overlaps. They really didn't think this through, and there's no subtitles whatsoever. I don't know. So, you want to stop and dialogue here? <laughs> if you want. Yeah, uh, sure. Skip ahead in the video if you really don't want to hear these. Uh, I guess I'll play the last one. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18th, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over in Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. All hell is gonna break loose, he says. Alright, fire blast precautions. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today, we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures, and this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate, and I recommend no changes in that procedure. 842 is the code for that? For that thing? That you you shut off? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, I got one more, one last audio log. This is Mark Stanton, Manifest Controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the Manifest Controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the Manifest. But whoever it is, it must stop. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Alright, that's it. 
Oh, we could go in here. Yeah. Got a keycard for it. This is like... So, another interesting thing about this game. What's the trigger when you go into that room that spawns a zombie behind you? Usually the smart enough to like, leave bodies around, but if you kill the bodies like I did, the guy still spawns. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go trigger it. Let's go find him. There he is, look, he's T-posing! <laughs> and he doesn't look like that to me. <laughs> he's fucking T-posing of ice cream, it's beautiful. Oh, that's T-posing, civilian. There's a difference. So I just noticed the shared health pool reset at some point. Oh, so it did, maybe... Mm. When did that happen? I don't know. Probably when we started the level. So I guess it's not a one-shot thing. Weird. Whatever. Wait, didn't we check out that level and wasn't it like full? Yeah, I guess it, oh. I guess it just gives you the rest of it. And then the, the shared health pools for the rest of the level. As lives. That's my assumption anyways. Alright. The key card here. Except not really. Hey, wait, that card. Oh, is it, I didn't even see the armor here. Not like we oh, really need it. Oh, my armor's slowly sliding off my body again. <laughs> you put on the vest too, it's a really bad vest. It's like I put on the vest and just turns into spaghetti. I'm oh, to kill everything. Well, I'm out of breath. It's a buddy. It's a boomer! Oh uh, yeah. I, I think I recognize this one. Yeah, I do. I knew uh, about that uh, one. Uh, 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 uh. That's what I this game does. They do like all these like little jump things at you, but it's you kind of learn to expect it. If you play Doom one time, you know when they're coming. Like, and you, you, you. I haven't played this for years, and I still kind of know when they're coming because it's kind of obvious. They put. I always fall for them. Everything's oh, very. I see it coming, and I go like, oh, not again. Everything's really scripted. Oh, there's an audio log here from Mike Kaysen. Oh god, there's like two- he has two of them. Audio log for Dr. Kaysen, currently stationed at Mars Have fun. City. I've just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40 percent range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. I have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Yeah, problem child. Dr. Casey now. Alright, we gotta listen to another one. Oh, Christ. Pa patient attack. Dr. Mark Casian, at 1547, patient Jonathan Wells was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Dr. Casey and out. So the reason why Candesta doesn't have to fucking listen, like, listen to the dialogue is because he has a fucking page open with all the codes. Like an asswipe. Oh look, no, the guy's alive. Actually, I remembered that one. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. I kept on the switch. Kept He's on the 
Yeah, you really need to turn that off, because every time, every time my weapon drops, it counts as a new weapon, not ammunition. <laughs> did I just- My just, armor, you asked- Oh, whoops, I forgot about that, I'm sorry. You can shoot me once, just because. You know what, I'll be a, I'll be a nice guy. Wow, that still takes off a lot of armor. <laughs> what, it took off a lot of armor? <laughs> yeah. I got adrenaline! Uh, so now we can probably go into that room. You want to do it legit? I know a way to get the code legit. So just looking get up online. Well, at this point, who gives a fuck? Video link oh, look, Bill Tyson. Bill Tyson. Video link up requested. All right. Video it was like f what was it? Five eight four. Five eight four. Yeah, okay, I remembered it. It's in the PDA. In some PDA somewhere. Guy doesn't have a palm rifle. Picked up. Alright, Bill Tyson. Fucking hell, he has two things for, for dialogue, so I'm gonna start up. Audio report confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine Facility, October 30th, 2145. The new troops will be arriving within a few days. I've started a series of training exercises focusing on close quarter small weapons combat, as well as instituting mandatory refresher courses on all munitions and weapons in our armory. In response to the large number of security breaches and general feelings of ill will around the base, I've doubled security details, placing two Marines at each checkpoint. This additional presence should help calm things down. I expect that the incoming Marines are not quite as green as the last deployment. They've turned out okay, but some combat experience will go a long way right now. Sergeant Tyson, out. Audio report on troop morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my Marines sharp and ready to go, but events at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God knows what. There are quite a few people missing, and no Marines of course. It's the civilian population I am referring to. Bottom line, whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a racer's edge. At this point, there is no cause for alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 108. I will continue to report as the situation develops. It is good we have the new Marines Video en route. Fresh faces will help. Sergeant Tyson, Video out. You have like blood what? all over your face. Video link up requested. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> you look Video horrifying. If I was like another Marine, I would be like. Video link up requested. Alright, let's go do video, video link up. Link up. Connection established. I can't believe you're still alive. I can't believe you're still alive. Mars City, all passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job, and good luck, Marine. Why is he talking about his good job? He hated us before. 